stuff. My buddy's got a lift at his house. Yeah, 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 there it is. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. Dude. When you get on this one. So today, going to check out some trucks. It's getting a little cold out. It's almost snow season. So you never know, man. I might pick me up a little Dodge Ram or Ford Super Duty. Right now we're heading up to Ford. Uh, we're gonna check out some stuff. My boy Alex over at Ford I said he got a 2017 f-350 that i might be interested in so i'll go check it out man so the it's wind man, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's probably gonna sound hard for me but you never know bag or i'm gonna leave here with either a f-350 diesel truck or a ford focus <laughs> go for the focus <laughs> How's it going? Taking care of you? Yep. <laughs> Good to see you. What's, What's going on, man? Good to see you. Uh, you want to yeah. check out that truck? Yeah. Take a, uh, take a walk on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Nah, I think you're going to ask me back. And then some other people pulled up with the Staten Island. Not that we'll show that one up online. The picture is like, yeah, it looks pretty clean. It's unfunny. It's a Lariat Ultimate, so it's got heated, cold seats. Push button start. It's got a tailgate step. The power uh, mirrors, blind spot protection. The only thing, it's got one little dent. Ah. Uh, yeah, right, that's not a selling right point. <laughs> That I know is the worst thing in the world, but hey, you barely notice it. I got, I got a guy Ziggy who's, uh, I got a guy Ziggy who I think for a hundred bucks, which obviously I'll just do it for you if you buy in the truck. So he, can, he does paintless dent removal. I'm sure he'll be able to pull out the dude's like a freaking wizard. Yeah, you got one of these recessed ones. These things right here, like 1500 bucks. Yeah, I had one. The you got the BMW, the Mustang. The yeah, slingshot still, the Audi. Audi, and you're gonna add this to your out of your mind. <laughs> you gotta be a little out of your mind, man. Yeah, crazy. You're gonna do the same thing, jack this one up with tires on it and stuff? Eventually, but for now, I just wanna have some fun in the wintertime, man. Yeah, hear that. I just got a 150 myself like three weeks ago. Oh, yeah? I was actually meaning to call. Or did it nah, I got a, I got a layer. I got a pretty loaded one. Yeah. This, oh, this one's even. I was gonna say mine's got the LEDs though. This one's got the LEDs. I like that. These headlights are like two grand if you're gonna add them into any other truck. It's definitely a big truck, man. Good looking thing. I gotta find uh, find the keys, which is probably gonna be in my shop. Yeah. So I'm taking for a drive, you know. Yeah. You make the sale. You already know. <laughs> we drove that Mustang, and then we were riding that bitch up a few days later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me go. Uh, let me go look for the keys for this thing. We'll find it. Jim, I got a question. That brown F three fifty in the back over there. Do you know if you have the keys up here? The keys aren't in the box. No plates on it. Yeah. Let me check in. Uh, in there. Yeah, I'll check the side of desk. Yeah, it's the I'll show you. I got the uh, the Abyss Gray. Would you like that uh, darker? Nah, nah, it's lighter. I'll show you. I got the special edition too. It's got the red leather. It's sick. I love it. But now I'm turning up. Like the <laughs> Ranger thing that you've seen. Like, this thing's nice, right? Yeah. Dude, we got it in here, but back in the like small Yeah, we put a level on it. This is more me. Come on, do something. Come on. No, you can open it. 
Wow. We had to shoehorn this thing into here. We had to, we had to back yeah, it on an angle through here. We put a leveling kit on it. You know, bigger wheels and tires. Oh, it doesn't come like this. Nah, we had this stuff on. We had another one in gray. Price get jacked up too, though. Uh, between we got the Raptor style grill, the fuel wheels and tires, leveling kit up front, the Ford Performance bar in the back. I think it's somewhere around five grand or so, six grand. We put the outfit between labor and parts. Uh, let's see. This one was an XLT. It's a loaded XLT. Don't tell me this thing is like 70 grand or something. Nah, package, a T-Rex package is what we call it. It's 67 for all the stuff to the car. Got the uh, roll bar and stuff. They said 2019. The sticker is 38270. So with everything, you got 45 grand. Yeah, it's got the heated steering wheel, it's got the Sony sound system, it's got a powered telescope and mirror so the things go in and out to the button, and then they power fold too. You got cooling seats up front, as loaded this one is, I don't know if you got heated seats back there. I know there's plugs oh, all over the Oh, shit, heated seats. I ain't heated seats in the back oh, too. that's dope. Yeah. We even got the sticker. Got the original sticker right here. I heard the 350 ride rougher than the 250. Oh, it's definitely gonna be a stiffer ride. But is it an uncomfortable ride or? No, oh, let's see. You had a 250, right? Yeah. It's gonna be more comfortable than, than all the 250 that was jacked up. You head straight up this way. Yeah, it's got the FX4 package, chrome package. It's the ultimate. It's got the tailgate step in the back. It's got the sprayed in liner. Watch out, man. Big truck coming through. <laughs> yeah, I was dangerous in my truck, man. I didn't care. They had to get out of my way. Yeah, that thing was huge. See, this is how it feels at first. It feels huge. And then you lift it up and it just gets crazy. Yeah, like you like, can't I felt like you my even truck know was huge front before yeah. I lifted it up. You remember that day when we first drove it when we left? We bought it here, actually. Yeah, this thing's already massive. Just looking over the cars. And way yeah. taller than the F-150 sets, you know? And then eventually it feels normal, though. Yeah. And then you start like, feeling like it's not in the air, and then when you lift it, it's like crazy. Well, like anything else, it's like when guys do, like I had a leveling kit on my old truck, and I was like, eh. It was cool at first. You put 33s on, and you always want to go bigger. So you just gotta go, wherever's gonna be the biggest, if you want it to be giant, you wanna put 37s on it, like that, that GMC, that Denali that I got. Yeah. That dude's got a six inch lift on a 2500 with 37s. That thing is a monster truck. But you gotta do that right away, because you'll lift it and it'll seem big, and then like a year later, you're gonna, you're gonna want it to be bigger. Nah, that's why I did the six inch and the 37 inch tires and all of that shit, like I had to, Go big right away. Yeah, it's like monster truck, dude. Anything bigger than that, and you can't use a thing. I mean, you can go I 40 can use with a that. 10 inch lift, I'll you know? That shit and you won't picture. fit nowhere. But this is an 8 foot bed? 8 foot box, crew cab. It's the longest wheelbase you can get. Thing's already a monster. You got blind spot detection, mirrors. Like, it's a loaded truck, dude. It's, it's nice. If you want, because it's a diesel, you could plug one of those tuners in. I think it's seven, eight hundred bucks, and they email you a tune and you load it in. And, you know, you gain another like two hundred horsepower from just tuning the thing, supposedly. I see a friend of mine. He has the two fifty diesel, six or seven, and um, he did that, but he turned it back down a little. He was like, it was too much. Yeah. 
Well, the shifts get really aggressive too, yeah. the transmission. That, that's what takes a beating. The motor don't take a beating from those tunes. It's a transmission because you change the shift points, you change where the truck wants to shift. You start overheating, you know, the, the train because you're riding out first gear too long. And, but the truck runs like a right thing, don't get me wrong. I mean, this has got tons of power. Once we get a break in traffic, you put it to the floor, you know. I've seen a few of those Dodges look really good. The new, the, the brand new, new ones, ones right? Retarded. That's why I told you. I'm looking at the 19. I've seen a few. The dash, the the screen is this whole thing. Yeah, they they're sick. You know, from the factory. They, it's a good truck. Don't get me wrong. I don't think they make a bad truck. On the on, on the one fifties, dude. It's like you either got a three inch or a four inch, right? Or just a level up front. But the three and the four with rims and tires doesn't. Even, it just looks like you put tires on a stock truck. It doesn't make it big. But for some reason, because you can only fit 33s, but once you get stuff a 35 under there with a six inch lift, dude, the, the truck looks massive. Yeah, like, this thing's hot. This guy's probably got 40 grand into this truck. Everything, even the inside of the headlights, everything's custom painted white. It's on American Forces, like probably 26 by 15s. Crazy, great. crazy setup. You want to take a look at my truck? Yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah. That'll convince me to get the, uh, Save me what, like thirty thousand dollars? <laughs> see that thing? I don't know how the prices work because how could that cost eighty-five, and then there's two fifties and three fifties that aren't even eighty-five thousand dollars? Yeah, like this truck, brand new. Here's a sticker with sixty-four. That's what I'm saying. So now how do you get a smaller truck that costs more? Platinum is a lot in the name, but then also it's like it's got massaging seats and stuff. Me personally, when I look at a truck that's like this, which was 64 two years ago, now brand new, this truck's probably 66. When I look at a platinum brand new, yeah, the running boards come out when you open the door. It's cool, but I don't see Half 20 the time grand. That stuff fails too. You know, I don't see 20 grand worth of extra shit. Whereas, like Larry, it's all I need. It's, you know. Yeah. I'll show you my truck. It's right over here. Mike convincing. It's not a diesel? They make 350 oh that aren't my diesel? God. Oh man. No wonder that thing wasn't moving. And you oh, it sounded yeah. like a diesel too. It didn't sound like a diesel. I was confused oh. when you pulled up. I was just giving you a benefit of doubt like maybe they, the newer ones got a quieter motor. <laughs> Fuck. This guy it's a gas one. You had him stressed man. out about Shit. the brown. I thought the it was brown a diesel. Paint. So now. Now we're totally off this thing. 
Hey, there's no way you can get 40. Yeah, it's a, it's a no-no now. I thought this was on a website as a diesel. You know that, right? That's why I thought it was a diesel. Imagine the mess if you sign in the papers. Sign the papers. Oh, my God. Yo, there's a pool of water in this truck right here. Oh, it's on the cover. I saw that before. I just see the gas cap, it's a yellow one. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm thinking yellow sulfur. It's a E85? It's an E85 for gasoline in the diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, something ain't right. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm hitting the gas. Something Yo, in, in that truck. Look at that gas. That thing is like, yeah. I hit the gas. Yo, and it's you know what's relaxed. funny? Because you said diesel. I think it's a turbo diesel. I'm like, you just floored it, and that's and what you know we what? got. I didn't even. <laughs> Pay attention, it don't even have the badge here. It would have had the That's badge true. Yeah. That is true. That's why I looked over like, wait, I could have sworn I seen this couple of badges. Oh, man. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, My bad. Shit. <laughs> that would have been a mess. Oh. Could you imagine I saw this fucking. Oh, my God. We would have figured it out before. Oh, then. no, yeah, yeah. yeah. It would have had to happen. Yeah. Somewhere or another. That's a problem. I guess you don't gotta beat them up on the price though. No, right? I don't gotta beat them up. Shit. So what about the other one? There's two on the website. This is the only one I can find, bro. Nah, no, there's two there. on your website. Like one has one. more mileage on it. And it, it said diesel too. Y'all might not even know what y'all got. Y'all might have two gas 350s. How you end up with a gas 350? Somebody know. got them. That's why it got <laughs> back. They got the first guy. Well, they're like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> so after a year Shit. driving this thing, I realized it's not a diesel. He's been putting diesel in it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's now I got engine problems. You're going to have to cut that. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, just trying to get the video for the purchase of the diesel. We got a gas truck. He tried to throw flow masters on it and fool me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. All right, so here's what I'll you do. You're smoke that truck with this truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, obviously, I fucked up. Oh, um, you got to order it. Let me do some digging. I got two other dealerships that don't use cars and stuff. I got one in Jersey. And a few friends in there. Let me try to find you a truck, alright? Is that? That's a bad thing. Alright, man. Good to see you, Willie. Alright, you cut the truck. I mean, I'm just nothing new. We look at it again. Now it's nothing. Shit. I don't see. I'm not upset. All right, well, yeah, fun time anyway, swinging by, you know. Yeah. We got some footage. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, nah, if you find something, let me know. I'll come yeah. Back up. I'm on the block, so. I know what you're looking for, man. Current body style diesel. <laughs> Definitely find that Definitely out first. Diesel Get that before diesel I, uh... filter checkbox first. <laughs> I don't care if you got to taste the fuel. Make sure it's diesel. Oh, man. All right, man. Good seeing it. Alright. Good seeing you, brother. Good seeing you. Trying to give me the 350 with the same motor as this thing right here. That's crazy. Still trying to do that? Yeah, I'm with it. Let's do it. Alright, we gotta make moves over this game. Dark. Alright, man, we had Dodge now. We went to Ford. Sorry, Alex, man, but I got to throw you under the bus. You had us out there looking at a, a gas truck telling me it was diesel all this time. Now we're about to look at a real diesel. Dodge Cummins 6.7. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, you put diesel fuel in it. You can't put corn syrup or whatever you have to put in that other one. Oh, yeah. Right there? Yeah, this one. Big boy. There we go. See, look, when you get a diesel truck, 
Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see these words right here? Heavy duty. If you don't see heavy duty, you know the color that you the, the F two fifty was duty brown. But, <laughs> but you want a heavy duty. You had me in a light duty truck. What if I took a heavy duty in that truck, man? Yo, I can't even get in here. I can't get in. These mirrors. Mirrors are even different on a heavy duty truck. Come on, you should have known. Limbo. That truck was not made for towing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it ain't got the the big 12 inch screen, but it's definitely diesel and it got cloth seats. That's why the price is so low. I probably won't be getting this truck. Oh, we got regular handles to do the seats. Oh, oh no, oh. Hold on, let me back out of here. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Oh, I still like it though, cause watch this. This is the difference between this truck and the one that Alex tried to put me in there. You hear that? That's a diesel motor. Alright, we're gonna copy right. Hear that? The truck wasn't even moving when I was doing that at the at the Ford dealership. It was just calm. This thing ready to run over the house. You hear that rumble? That's a diesel motor rumble right there. I'm gonna leave you alone on this one now. I ain't gonna bother you no more, but I'm just trying to teach you the difference between gas engines and diesel engines. Man. If you've been doing this this salesman thing for a little while now, and I, I don't know, they never told you that you can't put diesel fuel in the gas. <laughs> so, damn it, man. I will get this shit, but not for 47. I know, especially you gotta work your own seat. Like, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Like, nah, it is. Because <laughs> you trying to still have me get it for luxury purposes and just be stunting. Like, oh, shit, nah, I'm people. not even talking luxury. But you got to at get least this power. And throw the plow on it and make money and, and, oh, and we talking be, able to that. be good in the snow and run shit over. Like, this ain't no worse than, I mean, besides the seats, this ain't no worse than the F 250 I had. It's actually better because. Turbo diesel. Does this have the 360 camera too? Um, this one does not. But the other one does. Uh, I don't know. I have to, I have to uh, check the window sticker on that. Bully your way out there. Once you stick out, they're they gonna slow down. That's the thing, it's, it's too big, you can't even do that. They gotta stop. Man. Just, they see a truck rolling out there, this big scary truck, they're gonna slow down. You gotta take over this lane. There you go, <laughs> they gonna stop. Yo, I was thinking the same thing. That 350 wasn't moving at all. That's that's your Sunday driver package. <laughs> Seven, right? This is a uh, six four. Six four? Oh, okay. There you go. That's the I mean, it's faster, but it ain't gonna be as fast as that turbo diesel, right? 
Of the Cummins? Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a badass engine. Yeah, that's what that's what I want. Okay. And you didn't you didn't know what the price of this was? Uh this one no. Just because not even MSRP without the discount? No, just because I just grabbed the uh the kick for it. I didn't check on one. It's more comfortable too. So it's a little weird. Yeah, it's getting a little sus. I'm like, look, you're kidding right now. <laughs> nah, this is real. I don't even see no trucks back here, man. Pretty weird. I see some tour buses. Tour buses? <laughs> Push all the way in the back. Definitely handles the bumps. That's it right there? Yeah. Yep. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this brand brand new. Oh, this is the, oh no, this running is the cool board. This is not the mega cab. There's no leg one back here. I was looking for the running board trying to step up. <laughs> so how's this 70? I feel like the one that I saw for 70. So then what, the, uh, I guess it's 80,000 for the mega cab? For the mega cab? Ooh. There's no leg room back there. Yeah, this is <laughs> tight. Even that one got more room. Yeah, that one has a mega cap, right? But then he had leg room back there. You see how big he is? No, yeah, that's I'm a not feeling that. Huh? That's a crew cab too. Yeah. These seats are just moved all the way back. What seats? Right in, uh, in this one. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. I don't know, man. Yeah, <laughs> I like, like, yeah. That truck was bigger. Now, he even sat higher too in that one too. You know, this the only one you guys have, or like, could you find another one in inventory somewhere else or something? This was the only 2,500 diesel we had. Dang. Can't read that important, but guess we driving off road. I feel the power. Yeah. Oh, well, enjoy it. I got five percent. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy lot to be going to at this hour, man. <laughs> So there's um, I think it got the lights like the Beamer when you turn. You have the, the ones that yeah that follow. follow it. So if you oh, yeah. Got left. yeah, it do. I see it get brighter towards the left when you turn. Need to, oh. Yeah, that's that's a lot better than that. Yeah, and it felt a lot smoother. Turns it on. And, uh, you can change 
third has the doors on, so it looks like you know, different temperatures. This thing goes down to the bottom. No, how you turn it down though? Like that's just hot and cold, but how you... Uh, then right along the bottom oh, is the yeah. fans. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> that was Alex's job. <laughs> So, let me know what you guys think, man. Should I get the Ford? F-350, F-250, diesel, gas? Or should I get the Dodge Ram 2500 with the 6.4 Hemi? Or the 2500 diesel with the 6.7, um, yeah, the 6.7 turbo diesel, man. You know? Let me know what you guys think is the, the better option. You already know what to do, man. So hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. See you in the next one.